yes, I enjoy taking care of my home, but it has freed up so much of my time that I am able to sit down with my kids a lot more. I'm able to just sit and relax. I'm able to read a lot more. There's been so many things I've been able to do a lot more of just by these simple things of and maintaining it. And the biggest thing that has changed has been my mind and my attitude towards these chores. Baskets are my best friend. They really are. Yeah. I just, yeah. They're not your best friend. They're not a human. <laughs> Hello, good day to you. It is a blizzard outside. I'm drinking an iced coffee because I was just too lazy to make a warm coffee, even though I definitely should be drinking a warm coffee. So if I'm like talking a million miles, if I'm talking a million miles per hour right now, it's because of this guy. So today's video, I wanted to kind of start a series kind of touching on homemaking, but not really because I feel like that term is just not, doesn't really sit well with a lot of people, but I definitely do think there are some really practical ways to make enjoying taking care of your home easy and simple and very satisfactionary, like very, you can get a lot of satisfaction out of it. Yes. I just like threw the paper of this in the garbage. Okay, thanks. Love you. Love you. As you can tell, I only got two of my kids to go down. So one is supposed to be doing quiet time right now, but I have an activity that I'm gonna do with her once I'm done filming this video and she's very eager to do it. So anyway, I wanted to share some really easy practical ways that I have made taking care of my home very enjoyable and very easy to do and not overwhelming. I think as a- One more thing, <laughs> well, actually, if you keep working it and working it, uh -huh. it'll get smaller and smaller. Yeah. I know what you can do while I film this video. Yeah. Count how many licks it takes for you to get to the center of that lollipop. Okay, I'm gonna keep working it. Keep count count how many it takes. Do you think it's more than a hundred or less than a hundred? I think less than hundred. I think it's gonna be more than a hundred. Mm -hmm. You count, don't lose count. Okay. Okay. Love you. Love you. Ways that you can make taking care of your home enjoyable and manageable. When I say there should be no resistance here, like I feel like there should be no resistance to wanting to make taking care of your home something that's manageable. There was a recent study that said that over 75% of women are overwhelmed with their house tasks or everyday things that they have to do really overwhelm them and that makes them really stressed out. And I'm I can attest, you, like I was saying, I feel like everyone wants to find different ways to make their everyday tasks a lot more manageable and easy to do and I feel like over the years I've definitely found what has made things easier for me I have three kids and I found every child that comes into my life I found a way to make things simpler and easier so I kind of wanted to share that with you guys I don't really have like a list of I want to say it's gonna be like <laughs> ten things or so but hopefully this is helpful and if I mention something that you do that you feel like just really changes cleaning maintenance and stuff for you leave a comment down below but let's jump right into the video first thing this is something that I have been working on for a long time. It feels like it's been over a year of this, but last year I started to simplify our home. I went in and decluttered and started to eliminate a lot of things that were no longer being used, no longer being needed. If it was needed, it was maybe like once every blue moon, like it wasn't something that we needed to store anymore. And once I simplified our home, this made managing it so much easier because I just had so much more free space in my head of thinking of where things were, of having to organize things, and just the idea of things, 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 eliminating a lot of the things made it just so much easier. And so now I can confidently say that our home has everything that we need and there's not all that much extra stuff. So simplifying it. I wanna encourage you to just like, at any point today, just grab a garbage bag and walk around your home, ask yourself the question of like is there something that I haven't touched in a while is there something that I'm not needing or using anymore that I could donate and give to someone else that they could use or could I sell this and find 10 things in your home and let me just say you will find those 10 things so easily and so quickly and so I feel like I've just gotten into the habit of doing that anytime I feel like I'm overwhelmed I will just simplify things same with like this goes for toys this goes for clothes this goes for glass items this goes for everything stuff is stuff and you have to maintain it and the more stuff that you have the more you have to maintain and so simplifying it right off the bat alone will make it just so much easier to maintain your home if there's less things to manage number 
two write down a list of things that need to be done every single day in your home in order it for it to function properly and effectively so i will give you my list in order for my home to feel like that it is properly functioning and working well i need to do one load of laundry every day i need to unload and reload my dishwasher once a day and then i also need to do little pickups throughout the entire home i would say that our home is clean 80 percent of the time obviously we live here obviously I have kids and we play and a home is meant to be loved and used but if I need to reset it it takes me less than 15 minutes to do because of these little implements that I have done every day I know that I need to do a load of laundry and I need to load and unload a dishwasher and then do little pickups I'll explore more in the pickups in a couple of points later but the two main things has been laundry and the dishes I feel like laundry and dishes are the thing that I feel like everyone has to deal with no matter how many people are in your family no matter what you do or don't do like if you're home or not home dishes are just something that you have to deal with and so we have our house like on a system and I feel like this works really well for us because our dishwasher is on like a routine it gets loaded all day first thing in the morning what I like to do is unload it I have found that if it is empty throughout the entire day I am way more likely to take dishes that are dirty and just put them right into the dishwasher instead of the sink do not put your dishes in your sink why because they're gonna sit there for how long probably at least a couple hours and then you'll just have to look at it and it just piles and piles and piles and piles no that is not something we do in our home we do not let our dishes pile up because it's so much more work annoying and ugly to look at if it's just inside the dishwasher so easy and so simple to do so i feel like if you get into routine of every single night no matter how full that dishwasher is to run it when you wake up in the morning it's clean and you can unload it and reload things maybe you don't use enough stuff to do it every single night but maybe have it enough where like if you go an entire day you can fill it up with stuff so just because we are at home pretty much all the time and do make our meals almost every single meal that we have we do accumulate a lot of dishes and so for me to be able to unload it in the morning assures me that it will be and there will be enough space for us to put all the dishes that we accumulate during the day and then at night pop close her up get her going and then you start back over in the morning now if you have kids involve them in this chore kids are more than eager and more than willing to help you with chores because guess what it doesn't feel like a chore to them like it does for us if you kind of change your mindset of i'm so thankful that i actually got to dirty dishes because that means that my kids got to eat today that means that i got to cook today i got to eat today we have full bellies today praise and thank the lord for that it really changes the idea of it being a chore and more so of just a really big heart of gratitude and being thankful that you have these dishes to clean up last little thing while on the topic of dishes i have found that it's super helpful to have less dishes in total like again simplifying my kids have four plates four cups four spoons four forks we need more i just quickly hand wash it and so it's not like we have just so many plates so many things to just constantly be keeping and using and then it just really helps us not have to dirty so many dishes i'm like so big i'm not dirtying so many dishes when i'm cooking and cleaning and all that good stuff so second thing that needs to be done every single day is laundry now sarah therese i learned this from her she has five kids now she shared this hack and at first i was like how on earth do you do laundry every day i was like i would much rather just do it once a week but no let me just say doing it every single day a loaded day keeps the pile away and it is the best decision I've ever made especially since having a baby and like just having a lot of stuff to go through but also simplifying how many things are in my wardrobe how many things are in my kids wardrobes as a whole has already made laundry that much easier but then if I do it every day the pile is small it's quick and it's easy to do and it like start to finish you guys it takes me less than an hour and a half because I'm writing up doing a smaller load it doesn't take as long it takes like 30 minutes to wash 30 minutes to dry and then it takes me not even five minutes to fold and then this is what was hard for me folding and putting away has always been hard but when you have a really small basket of clothes and there's like three things for each person it takes you so like it, I could do it with my eyes closed okay and this has been really fun and I also involved my kids in this as well they like to fold up their own clothes and then I ask them where their stuff goes and they help me put their stuff back and it's just it's so simple and easy to do so when I wake up in the morning I collect 
kept from each room. A little side note, these baskets from the thrift store. If you go to a thrift store and you see one of these baskets, pick them up. These baskets are life-changing. I love them. They hold so much stuff. I use them for laundry. I use them for kids' toys. I use them for just anything. I have like five of them at this point and they're always being used, you guys. If you see them at the thrift store, snag them. They're normally like $5, but I adore them. So each one of us has these inside of our rooms. So every morning I wake up, I grab mine and my husband's. I go and grab Evangeline's. I grab Alethe and Ari's. And then I just walk downstairs, throw everything to the wash, and then boom, it started for the day. And then as the day goes by, if I'm not home, I'll like make sure I just kind of plan accordingly. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I don't, but because it's a smaller load and I like will just set a reminder or something, it's easy to do. So two little things to do every single day. My next point is to simplify your decor. Now, this is something that I've done after putting away our Christmas decor. It's something my sister has been trying to get me to do for a while and I was so hesitant because I've always enjoyed decor. I love it. I love making a home feel super cozy with decor, but there is a way to do that while using things around your home that are decorative, but also functional. And so simplifying it has just made things so much easier because resetting our home is a lot easier and I'll touch on that in a second. But I've really just minimized our decor and this season of life, this just feels really doable and really nice. Sure, my home probably looked a lot more beautiful in other seasons where I had more decor, but it was a lot more work and a lot harder for me to maintain because I had little kids and still have little kids that love to use my decor as toys and things would break and they just collected a lot of dust. And so when I went to do cleaning, it just took a lot longer because there's just a lot more surfaces to clean. And so it's not to say that I won't ever go back to having a more decorative home. I probably will, but right now this has been really enjoyable and I've been able to do things that I like outside of cleaning. Yes, I enjoyed taking care of my home, but it has freed up so much of my time that I am able to sit down with my kids a lot more. I'm able to just sit and relax. I'm able to read a lot more. There's been so many things I've been able to do a lot more of just by these simple things of minimizing my decor. I've really enjoyed it. It's for it to just be simple. And yeah, I mean, sure, it's not the most beautiful, but again, it just kind of goes against culture of like needing to have this Studio Migi Pinterest perfect home all the time. That it's not realistic for everyone. And so I feel like I've just kind of have to remind myself, like I, my house does not need to be this like Pinterest board all the time. This is what works for us. And I really enjoy this right now. My next point is to find your home reset. Now this, if you get anything out of this video, let it be this point, your home reset. What does that mean? That means if you were to right now have to pause this video and go start picking up your home, how long would it take for you to get to your reset point? Now, when I say reset point, I mean where every bed is made, where every piece of clothing is put away, where like every junk drawer is cleaned out, where like everything is in place. How long would it take you to do that? And if your answer is more than 15 minutes, then sis, we have a problem. Okay, it should not take you more than 15 minutes to reset your home. And I know that might sound absolutely ridiculous. And yes, maybe, but I want to challenge you because since making all these little changes in my home, if I needed to reset it, it can take me less than 15 minutes. Sometimes it can take a little bit more depending on like, let's say, okay, there are obviously exceptions to this rule. If we just had 10 people over last night and I have 10 people worth of dishes to clean up, like obviously it's gonna take me more than 15 minutes. But for like our day-to-day -day use, day-to-day -day stuff that we are doing in and out of the home, in and out, playing with toys, da 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 da, -da. If it's at like it's used it's da -da -da. stage, like, <laughs> If it's at its used stage, if you can tell that we've been what in this home that? and have loved this home. What does that thing mean? Like, like boom, boom, boom. Like thing, 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 thing. If it's at that point of being loved and used, if it takes more than 15 minutes, then we have a problem. And pinpoint what those little problems are. I can give you a couple of examples as to what I found were our pin problems. The playroom, there were too many toys. There was a study that showed that kids use anywhere between seven to 10 toys. Seven to 10 toys. I will link this article down below. There's actually quite a few that I found that just shows that kids do not play with nearly as much toys as we think they need to. So in a current rotation, I will have anywhere between six to 10 toys. And so, <coughs> opa, eliminating some of those other ones just made it so much easier to reset the playroom. Um, like, are you good? 
Whoopa! It means something in a different language. Hey. So simplifying their toys made it a lot easier because I felt like I was spending a lot of time there. As well as resetting my closet. I constantly am going through and donating things that I'm just not using. Not even, I'll do like big closet clean out, but then also like if I'm ever just in the morning getting dressed and I'm like, I haven't touched that shirt in a while. I'll literally just take it out and donate it. Like just simply taking little things like that that you're just no longer using so you don't have to maintain it and take care of it. Another area that I found was things that didn't have homes. And this brings me to my next point. Every item in your home should have a home. Why? Because you'll always end up finding yourself with random things lingering out around your home that don't have places to go. And so then it ends up shoved in a closet or it ends up shoved in a corner somewhere under a bed and then you can't find it and then you have to replace it. And that it's just like this never ending thing. And so when I started hanging up little coat hooks for my kids to put their coats and a specific spot for the shoes and a specific spot for the snow pants and a specific spot for little utensils and for their pencils, as soon as things started to have homes when I go to do my reset it's so much easier because I know in my head already where the home is of that item and I'm not having to find a home a temporary home which normally ends up being a junk drawer or something along those lines and then what and now you guys know I do have a little drunk I have two junk baskets that those like are just a random little knickknack things that we just like the kids books that need to be returned from the library or just like a random piece of a toy that I find. So that basket I feel like is kind of just like a little holding spot for things for that things that need to either come or go into the home or just like random spots. So yes, of course you need to have one of those, but I think having it in a basket is a huge game changer because then it's confined to a space and it's not just kind of just anywhere loosely around the home, which brings me to my next point which are baskets. Baskets are my best friend. They really are. They I are? just, yeah. They're not your best friends. They're <laughs> not humans. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, but I like them a lot and I use them a lot. And so I have a basket Whoa. for a lot of things. So for example, I have a basket over there in the corner that holds our remotes and holds my nail files because most of the time since I took off my nails, they like tend to break a lot. So having a nail file, over there is nice and handy to use. I also have a basket on my stairs and that is for things that need to go upstairs, but it makes it easier. Thank you. This is <laughs> this is where I keep my remotes. But I also that basket for the stairs, that basket allows me to put things that need to go upstairs without having to go up and down the stairs all the time. A remotes and then my nail files that go into that basket as well. Show them this thing. Yes, I also I also keep a claw clip there because I use claw clips a lot. Thank you, Tooks. Come on here. I also have a basket over there in the corner for my dogs and their dog toys. Inside the kids' playroom, every single little cuppy is filled with a basket that holds either animals, blocks, whatever. Like, there are just baskets all around. So it allows you to kind of just group things because I feel like that's another thing. Visually making things less clutter looking because not everyone, but I feel like most people get very overstimulated and I feel like as a whole, most of the time, moms are very overstimulated. Yes, here. Here's a perfect Dad, what example. Is that sock? It's Evangeline's. Here's a little basket for the kids that has Evangeline's little cards and then these go on their front. Yes. Um, so having baskets for pretty much everything just makes it so much easier. And if you do rotate your kids' toys, which I definitely need to do an updated video on, no I will link. Here. Oh yeah, the here's another one. I yep. Here's another one. This is normally filled with black. I will do a updated toy rotation just because the last time I did this, Alethe and Ari were like one and two years old. They were really little. And so the way that I rotated was very different than I do now. So I will definitely update you guys on that. But having all of their toys, yes, perfect. Inside little baskets like this makes it really easy when I go to rotate because I take all of these baskets and put them inside that giant laundry basket that I have. And then it takes me 15 minutes to go downstairs, put them out, grab new ones and then bring them back up. One of their activities this week was actually to use string and practice sewing. So I think those are all my points. If I have any that I am forgetting, I will write them down. This is an interesting video. I feel like I have this hasn't happened before, but because someone isn't napping anymore, I'm a little bit more limited in my time of being able to film. But it was fun having her join me in along and it was fun to have her see like what I do because I don't really pull the camera out around them all that much anymore. Um, but yep, I'm finishing up right now. 
I know a lot of these little tips may seem really small and it's borderline obvious and self-explanatory, but when paired all of them together, it has really transformed the way that I approach cleaning my home and maintaining it. And the biggest thing that has changed has been my mind and my attitude towards these chores. It's really easy to get grumpy. It's really easy to be upset about the mess. It's really easy to just think like, oh, if I didn't have kids, I wouldn't have to pick up all the time. If I had this, my husband would just do that and da 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 But the second you just change the mindset of, I'm so thankful that I have kids to pick up after. I'm so thankful that I've been able to bless my kids with toys. I'm so thankful that I have clothes I'm able to provide and fold and clean. I'm so thankful that that their little clothes are covered in stains because that means they've been playing and that means that like the list can go on and on about these different things and so I really think that once we change that mindset and just change our perspective and just come with the heart of gratitude these tasks no longer feel like tasks but just a bunch of little blessings that we get to do throughout the day so I want to encourage you guys to try one of these things try one of them try all of them try them for a week and see how impactful it is love you guys I hope you enjoyed and happy Happy house maintaining. <laughs> Bye.